Fish, fish. morning down here at the boat ramp inside Clarkson right now and it's looking like it's gonna be an amazing day no wind no bad weather and so we're looking to go out there and put the wood to a freaking big old steelhead today so again we're running coon shrimp and bobber setups today and hopefully we could pull it all together and bring some fish in the boat for my man Nash back here um, brought a different son with me this time has never caught a steelhead before he got his first Chinook this year as well And so if we can put a double whammy like that in one year, that'd be really freaking sweet um, He is recovering. He literally just got his sling off a day ago He had a broken clavicle from flag football this year, so Hopefully we don't re-injure that thing on a 20 pound steelhead or even a 10 pound steelhead and so we're gonna do everything we can just to take it easy, get them on a fish, get some fish in the boat, and hopefully they're biting today. So I'm super excited to be back. Day one of four, and man, oh man, God is good. Let's go bonk them today. We're out here in our spot anchored up. Gonna throw a little Northwest Bait Co. Coons on today. Perfect size coon shrimp. I don't even know if you can see that. It looks a little blurry to me. But I like a mid-sized coonie. And that's what we're gonna do out here today. Perfect little coon shrimp dangling for our steelhead. See how the hook is sitting right down there at the top of the head? That is the perfect size coon shrimp for what we're doing out here. At least that's my personal preference. Still has the whiskers. That hook sits with the bevel of the hook right in front of the eye of that coon shrimp. Hopefully these things do work today. We know there's fish in here and we know this method works. That was 100% a fish bite. I don't think a weed would take you the bobber under the water like that, ever. Oh, it's fish. Oh my gosh, dude whiffed that shit. What's the chances of it being on this rod too? Isn't that funny? Just put it out right next to the boat. Well guys, a little update. 7.45 a.m. It took us a second to get down here and actually get set up. And now we're actually fishing. We got four rods in the water. Um, the current of the clear water is pushing us a different direction than it was the last time we were here. Just like I say all the time, you got to be malleable on the water and every time you go out, expect something a little bit different. And so we got down here and we were expecting to face the bank over here with the back end of our boat and it just wasn't happening that way. And so we had to adjust, maneuver around and now we're facing a good direction and hopefully we can put a couple in the boat today. So stay with us. Scrumptious baby. Haven't caught any fish yet. So, it's time to heat up some freaking burritos if I don't burn myself. Just like that. Cooking on the tiny boat. Walking on watercraft special. Luxury guide service out here for the young man. Gonna eat some burritos. Fish, fish, Nash. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Oh, we lost it. It almost jumped in our freaking boat, dude. 
It was a freaking monster. Just had a freaking, I don't even want an estimate of weight, just a monster steelhead run right at us, jump right at the boat at us, and then bent our hook out. Absolutely insanity. Oh my gosh. I didn't know which frickin' rod it was. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Here, fight it. Fight it. You gotta hold up here. Hold up here. Rod up. Rod up. Rod up. Let it run when it wants to run. It's off reel. It's not off, dude. Please don't stop reeling. Okay, just, just reel, reel. Rod up. Out to the side. Rod tip down, rod tip down. Reel, reel, reel. It's a fucking monster, dude, okay? Let it, stop, 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 stop. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Reel, reel and lift. Reel and lift. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, I got hung up. Let's go, baby. Woo! Dude, it's a monster. It's a hatchery. Dude, that is a very good fish. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking monster. Oh my god. Dude, it might be 15 pounds. Nice job. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Let, let, the, let some line out. Let some line out. Don't break the rod. Don't break the rod. Let the some line out. Oh. Gosh. My gosh, dude. It is an absolute monster, bro. Let some line out. Let some line out. Keep letting line out. Come on, focus, focus. Oh my god. We just caught a fish of a lifetime. Oh we god. just freaking caught a fish of a lifetime. Oh. The biggest dog ever seen in my life. Wait, is that the monster or no? I didn't know even I didn't even know which rod it was on. Cause we have such a mess going on. Yeah. Dude, you just caught a fish of a freaking lifetime, bro. Here. Give me some. Oh my gosh. Dude. What? Gosh, my wrist hurts. In the frick just stupid, dude! <laughs> yeah! Hey, will you give me the fish whacker up there? Oh my gosh, dude. What is it? 14. 14.6. 14.6. There it is, 14.6 pound steelhead caught by my son, Nash. Holy crap, we were starting to get a little bit worried, 
hooked into this big boy. Didn't even know which freaking rod it was on. Stumbling over, tripping over everything. And what a freaking gift. This is a fish of a lifetime. I mean, I, just, I literally can't even believe it. I'm actually at a loss for words. I'm still shaking. Thank you guys so much for being here. God bless you. Let's go get a freaking another one. Good gold, no, you didn't. It's not good gold. Try it. Good? You tell me. Do you think it's still good? It's not bad. How you doing today? Bye. Got one. You got one? Yep. 14 pounds. Huh? 14 pounds. Right. Yeah, he caught it. Alright, way to go. <laughs> you knocked your head and cast that over his eyes like I told you. I forgot. <laughs> well, you have it? Alright. Yeah, it's his first steelhead. Nice. One of many. Yep. Only gonna begin. I got a wild one and missed one and my buddy never even had a bite yet. <laughs> it's feeling like it's been slow the last couple of days. Oh yeah, it's been slow for the last week and a half. Really? Actually it's been good the last two days compared to the last week. That's brutal. Yeah. Hopefully it just keeps getting better. Is it? To get more lethargic or what? I don't know. I think it's like to get more action. Okay, for real. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. We've been up since four out here searching for one of these monster steelhead and we ended up getting tangled up with one today. Nash's first steelhead and his first steelhead as an eight-year-old is a 14 pounder. Who can say they've caught a 14 freaking pound steelhead? Not a lot of people. Eight years old, 14 pounds, broken collarbone, got his sling off two days ago and literally comes out here and bonks a freaking monster right on the head. Couldn't be more proud dad moment. Also, thank you guys so much for tuning into these episodes. Keep watching, keep sharing, keep commenting. God bless every single one of you. We'll catch you on the water tomorrow.